Tonight, our New 6 investigation into Florida's contact tracing program continues. Last night at 6, we told you about a state lawmaker calling for an investigation into the program. Yeah, now he is demanding answers from one of the companies getting paid to provide those contact tracers. It comes after a woman told New 6 she was paid for weeks as a contact tracer, but never got a single assignment. New 6 investigator Lewis Bolden has the breaking developments tonight. I just learned this afternoon that State Representative Renee Placencia sent this letter to Florida Surgeon General. His staff also contacted the president of Favorite Healthcare Staffing, asking specific questions about Florida's contact tracing program. As a function of the legislature, one of the things that we have the oversight is to, um, to a certain extent, audit some of our programs that go through our state agencies. State Representative Renee Placencia already had concerns about the state's contact tracing program, but after learning about Adrian Barker from a new six investigation, he says he has even more concerns about the millions of dollars the state of Florida is paying for contact tracing. Because of the, the report that you're doing, uh, we're able now to bring that information to our staff at health, at health care appropriations for the Florida House and we can start looking into how that money is being used. The state of Florida is paying favorite health care $23 million for COVID-19 health care staffing, which includes contact tracers, according to state records and the Department of Health. There is a complete lack of oversight and a complete lack of accountability. Adrian Barker says she was hired by favorite health care staffing to do contact tracing. She says she was set up in hotels for 22 days and paid more than $1,600, but was never given one assignment. So to be in a hotel getting paid without working goes against every single thing that goes against the grain of who I am. The Florida Department of Health has given few details about the state's contact tracing program. Placencia's letter to the state Surgeon General specifically asks if the state can provide data that shows the number of positive COVID-19 cases per day and shows of those cases how many people contact tracers actually connect with. He posed the same question to the president of favorite health care staffing. In Miami-Dade County, the contact tracing has been effectively non-existent. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber says after weeks of asking, the Department of Health shared contact tracing data for a 14-day period. Gelber wrote this letter to Governor Ron DeSantis pointing out that out of thousands of cases in Miami-Dade County, quote, the Department of Health is successfully contact tracing an average of 18 percent of those infected per day and sometimes as low as 7 percent over the 14-day period. 93 percent were never reached and most of whom were never even tried to, to, uh, to, to be contacted. It's really a disaster. Yet Barker says she sat in a hotel room with no assignments. We contacted favorite health care staffing over the past week numerous times with emails and telephone calls, but never got a response for this story. More and more local officials are now asking questions. Obviously, this is a developing story that we will continue to cover. Reporting downtown Orlando, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results, News 6.